there's one high-profile university that's been bucking that trend, keeping its costs down. Purdue has kept tuition frozen, under $10,000 a year for in-state students in Indiana for over a decade now. We have the former governor of the state of Indiana, Mitch Daniels, with us. He's president emeritus at Purdue University. So, Governor, always good to have you, and thank you for joining us again. And so, this I'll put up the headline here from the uh, Purdue student newspaper uh, on this. Uh, so, according to the College Board, the average tuition price there uh, comes down, or, or the decision is formally approved, I should say, in 2025, where Indiana residents continue to pay less than $10,000 a year in tuition. Out of state continues to pay $28,794. You know, when we see everything about college, 80, 90, you know, close to 100 grand in a few years, how is that possible at Purdue? I'd like to tell you something magic about it, Connell. It's really a matter of what you deem important, what you prioritize. And, and um, at Purdue University, which um, is uh, always ranked among the top schools in the country academically. Yeah. We're still a land-grant school as we were created to be. We were put there to uh, democratize and, and spread the uh, value of higher education. And so we're very committed to keeping it accessible and affordable to all those young people who can meet our standards. Um, well, you know, it's been um, a great collective effort uh, supported not just by our board and me and my successor, but uh, by our whole Purdue community, they're very proud of it. We're very surprised other schools haven't followed, that the market hasn't forced them to. I think we're starting to see that now, as many schools are in distress, especially those who have jacked their prices uh, up so high. Uh, last thing I'll mention is it's not just tuition, tuition for everybody, uh, uh, Indiana and, and out of state and international too, but it's also uh, other fees, uh, room and board is less expensive than it was back then. So right. it is literally less expensive to attend Purdue now in unadjusted, that is nominal dollars, than it was in 2012. And oh. uh, it's something that, uh, you know, we think uh, we have, uh, uh, is consistent with our mission. Well, it's remarkable in a lot of ways, but one of the things, you know, as parents, we look at these costs and, and a lot of times there's not a lot of transparency as to where the money's going. New York Times had a headline recently about how schools are going to be soon charging 100000 a year. And we're moving in that direction, 80, 90 already in a lot of places. How much, you probably know this, how much does the average student cost to educate? In other words, how much do you spend per student? I saw that some of these schools, you know, they have to subsidize it because they really are spending hundred grand a student. Is that true? or? Yeah, it may be at some places. The, the, the next question should be, why does it cost you that much? Yeah, there's, exactly. There's a, it, we, we've looked very hard, uh, Connell, at things like uh, uh, the ratio of uh, students to administrators, which there are schools where somehow there are more administrators uh, uh, running around than, than there are students. I don't understand that. Um, you know, much of what's going on there is comes under the heading of nice to do, not, not need to do. And um, so again, I always said uh, to people asking this very logical question that at Purdue, we try to solve the equation for zero. Instead of asking, as higher ed has for decades, how much money would we like to have to keep everybody happy? And then jacking up fees to raise that amount. Right. Uh, we always ask, what would we need to do this year to avoid charging our students and their families more? Wow, well, no, that's probably a better way to look at it. It's a, I think a lot of parents wish that other college presidents looked at it way, that way. All right, so last thing. So as I said, we have a special on News Nation that Chris Cuomo is hosting tonight with, uh, with Mike Rowe. And the whole premise or the whole idea is this discussion that we've been having a lot about college. Is college worth it, essentially, right? You know, because more and more people looking, it seems, by the numbers at uh, trade schools and because they see the sticker shock in the pricing. I think that's one of the things that leads to that. So as someone who has so much experience in higher education, what would you say to that? question this day and age is college worth it i'd say about time that some of the people ask this question uh, the, the, the families and, and young people and society asks it um, i think that um, you know, we have been we have set up this expectation that somehow you needed that four-year bachelor degree to uh, be a success in life and it's worked out very poorly for some uh, young people uh, who might have had a much better path so i think it's a very healthy development and I think it's being uh, propelled by the fact that uh, colleges are not delivering value. They're charging way too much for whatever quality is there. At Purdue, we always said our goal is higher education at the highest proven value. Um, and um, uh, for a long time, American higher ed lived in a world in which they didn't need to 
prove what they, that what they were doing uh, would pay off. Now people mm -hmm. are demanding that proof, and too many, or many, many, are uh, not seeing it. Yeah, it's really it's a fascinating topic. It really is. Well, more on that tonight. And uh, thanks, Governor Daniels, for coming on. Congrats to Purdue, by the way, in that great basketball run all the way to the championship game. Zach Eady and everybody else. That was fun to watch too. Thanks so much for watching. Just go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.